Nadezhda Erdanova, a deputy of um, a Bulgarian delegation in Council of Europe um, from uh, Democratic uh, Party of Bulgaria. Uh, thank you for uh, accepting our request for the interview. We appreciate it a lot. And uh, my uh, first question is, um, so Bulgaria, uh, Bulgaria takes a uh, pro-Ukrainian pro side um, during Russian-Ukrainian war and um, also supports Ukrainian refugees a lot. Um, this is very good and uh, th thank you for, for that. Only 46% uh, of uh, Bulgarian um, uh, citizens uh, hold uh, Russian fully uh, responsibility for the war in Ukraine. And um, uh, while at the same time in Europe this percentage is uh, 80 and um, even uh, higher. Uh, so uh, the question is uh, which instruments um, to your mind can be used uh, to uh, con counteract uh, Russian propaganda in Bulgaria and uh, uh, to uh, make people uh, support Ukraine more? Yeah, um, you uh, are quite right. In Bulgaria, unfortunately, the so-called hybrid war um, led by uh, Russia and the Russia propaganda is uh, very strong. Uh, therefore, we from democratic Bulgaria, um, from the beginning of the war, started a number of initiatives called deputinizatia. Uh, in uh, Bulgaria, fighting uh, the uh, Russian aggression on many fields. And one of uh, the lines that we are taking is to make everything possible to limit the influence of Russia in Bulgaria through, um, through oil, sup um, supply. through uh, supply, through all energy uh, um, lines of supply and, of course, disinformation in media. Mm -hmm. Very good. Actually, this uh, it was my next question: How, um, which are possible ways to re to reduce this dependence of Bulgaria from uh, energy and also uh, cultural, political, economical um, dependence of Russia? Right. Uh, so this is uh, one instrument: uh, the the Putinization, uh, um, so called. Uh, so maybe there are some other instruments or ways um, to um, uh, strive, uh, yeah, against against this. The Bulgarian Parliament just a few days ago adopted two very, uh, very important uh, pieces of legislation. The first one was uh, to, to make possible, in case uh, of um, um, threat of Russia, to use uh, Luke oil as, as a weapon uh, for the Bulgarian, against Bulgaria, for the Bulgarian country state to take over the management. And the second one is uh, to ensure that EU sanctions against Russia uh, well implemented in Bulgaria because we see that sometimes the Bulgarian government unfortunately is a little bit hesitant to really impose the uh, EU sanction against uh, Russia but the parliament was really um, eager and had the majority to, to, to pass the legislation mm -hmm. to make sure that any and all EU sanctions against uh, Russia are implemented in Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, do you think um, that Ukraine can join uh, United uh, United Union? And uh, um, what would be your suggestions as a country which already joined United Nation, uh, sorry, European Union um, for Ukraine? Um, what changes should we uh, implement in uh, our government and society uh, to be able to join um, uh, European Union? Ukraine should uh, put all. Uh its efforts to meet all EU standards. It's, uh, it's uh, of course, rule of law, uh, transparent uh, government, uh, very strong anti-corruption uh, measures and uh, good uh, uh, economic uh, development. And I, I strongly be believe that the war will end soon and uh, Russia will withdraw with any uh, any further requests and Ukraine will be able to build up a peaceful uh, future. Yes, we believe so. And uh, also uh, an, another one question about uh, the corruption in Bulgaria and uh, how the, the, the situation changed after um, Bulgaria became a, a member of, a United, uh, of European Union. Um, does it change? Uh, does it uh, reduce? Um, unfortunately, in Bulgaria, corruption is um, 
long-standing problem mm -hmm. and honestly speaking part of it is the Russian influence as well because one of the biggest corruption scandals in Bulgaria are closely related with Russia as well mm -hmm. they are in fact Russian projects so uh, we're still uh, struggling to solve this problem but uh, the good thing is that um, EU is very supportive, very demanding, and um, by requiring mm -hmm. us to, 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 to solve corruption uh, uh, problems in Bulgaria, in, in, fa in fact, it is uh, happening, uh, helping us. Mm. Very good. And uh, uh, what, uh, what uh, to your mind, are uh, the most uh, powerful uh, um, uh, instruments and, and way uh, to, um, uh, to get rid of uh, corruption yeah? uh, in Bulgaria or uh, for us now, from your experience? Uh, transparency. Um, it's very, very crucial to have strong and free and objective me media, media and independent judicial system. Unfortunately, in Bulgaria, we still have problems with uh, um, media freedom and uh, independent judicial system, and therefore we still have problem with the corruption. So, all these problems we have to solve. Uh, okay, and uh, the last question is: uh, How do you see the end of the war in Ukraine? Uh, as I said uh, previously, we believe, and all. Uh, people united in uh, EU and uh, all free world sh should put all our efforts to end the war with Russia withdrawing from uh, Ukra Ukraine. Ukraine should stay whole as, uh, as, a, as a country and I hope that the war will end very soon and uh, Russia will stop uh, the aggression. Uh, and uh, how can uh, Russia be stopped? Uh, because uh, uh, even uh, if now uh, Ukraine will win, uh, they can um, uh, uh, gain their, uh, their new power, uh, new, new forces and to attack us in, uh, some, um, in some time again. Uh, how to prevent it? How do you think? Several things uh, should be done. Uh, first of all, the international uh, community should uh, stand strong against uh, Russia. Not uh, we don't have. We should not uh, let the same situation as Crim happen again. And uh, the other thing is, uh, it's very important to have a really very strong international uh, tribunal to, to punish all war crimes. Mm -hmm. Uh, to make uh, clear which who is responsible for all these crimes and punish them and this is one of the things to prevent re-emerging uh, again war and war crimes in the future. Okay, thank you very much for the interview, for answering my questions. I hope that Bulgarian and Ukrainian um, uh, relationships will, will become stronger and stronger and uh, the war will, will end soon. soon. Thank, thank you. you.